that movement of love, of bettering us, you know what I'm saying? It was behind all the rap shit and besides all that, that was a good fucking dude, bro. Good fucking dude. We used to have long, long talks about just the illest shit, man. And niggas a fucking comedian, bro, you know what I'm saying? So I just want everybody to remember that smile, remember how good of a dude he was, and I love you, Jack. I'm always keeping you in my heart, bro. I mean, shit, man, that's all I can say, bro. Jack Pistol, man, Jack. 94th and Jack, man, you know what I'm saying? Mob figures forever, man. We're gonna make sure his kids all right. We're gonna keep this mob, mob shit alive. 
you know, that's, that's, that's our main thing, man. So it, it's not even about, it's not even about us no more. It's about the kids, really. So, you know, we're going to make sure they, they set for life. You know, we're going we gonna to keep doing this music. Jack, you know, his music going to live forever. This mob shit live forever. It's Bay Area. This is what we do. We're going to keep the Jack alive, man. Hello. And, uh, you know, you see, oh, look at all these real niggas. Cuz on fly right here, man. Big hand right here, man. Real niggas. Look at all these real niggas sliding through, man. Put a jack, man. This jack, love you, boy. Love you, baby. Hey, this is real mob niggas right here, man. This ain't, this ain't no bullshit. For real. Shit, real. Hey, no way, you know what? It's up to us to keep it going. Period. Ain't nobody else gonna do it. And we for sure gonna keep this mob shit lit. And we taking care of the kids and everything, man. Period. Show that. Oh, this, up, this so much deeper than rap, oh, man. This, up, this family. This ain't this is fuck rap. This family. Yeah. This is the mob. Yeah. Nigga. Real though. Niggas been mobbing before rap, nigga. And I ain't even no rapper, nigga. Fuck him, man. It's our brother, nigga. This shit is fucking man. You know what it is, man. It's your dude love. Mobbing peace to my bro, man. Bull. J.A. I love you, my nigga. I'm gonna show you how deep this shit go, man. My nigga last night, we at the house fucking around, he tagged me and shit, right? My nigga North that, you know what I mean? He say, brother, keep it 100 with you. The first time I ever heard Jack solo, I was in San Quentin, Wait, stressed nigga. out, nigga. And he got me through there. He got me to get out of that motherfucker, man. That's what this Jack shit is so much too, deeper, man. The Jack love niggas, man. He love us, man. He love street niggas, man. It took a real nigga from me, man. That was my brother, man. He showed me a lot, taught me a lot. Some man who brought me to his, you feel me? That's the reason I, like, he, ain't, he ain't the reason I am a Muslim, but he had a big impact on my life. Without him, I wouldn't be shit, bro. For real, bro. That man took me to Ohio, Kansas City. He did the most for me, bro. Period. I never forget what he did for me. He always be my brother. I'm gonna make sure I keep his movement lit. For sure. Five kids, gonna, gonna be lit for sure. Lil' Rue gonna keep it lit for sure. Make sure me and Blood keep this shit, bruh. Let's gonna keep it lit. We all gonna keep it lit for my nigga, man. Rest in peace to a real good nigga, man. That was a good dude, bruh. Sick in it, Fair. Rest in peace to my nigga, bruh. could have made, you know, he could have been a greedy man and, and just hoarded an unlimited amount of riches. But everything he got, he gave right back. Every single thing. I'm talking about from the, every single thing. A concept of greed was he had no concept of greed. You know what I'm saying? And that's how we always carried it. You know what I'm saying? You got something, I got something. If I got something, you got something. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot that goes to it. You know, it was always giving somebody a shot, always putting somebody on the track, always giving somebody the opportunity to do a job, or giving somebody an idea, or motivating somebody to try something different. Hey, what's up? It's your girl, Del Trees, AKA The Voice DT. We out here on 94th and Jack Arthur. Where this stupid ass tragedy happened at. But we out here keeping it lit. If I could tell you anything about him, I could just tell you that he was the greatest person in my life. He was my motivation. He was my strength. He, he was my guy. So I'm out here every day if it takes that. And I sing and I thought about saying fuck it, but I will never because that's what he wanted me to do. And I just want him to know that I'm out here and I'm praying for his family and I'm praying for his kids and I'm praying for anybody that loved him and was affected by this. But most of all, I'm mobbing for the rest of my motherfucking life. And I love you fuck anybody that's about it. The mob. Well, every time I was with him, you know, we didn't really talk business about music, you know, it was just family talk, you know. We just hung out, me, him, Lil Jack, you know, and we would just go anywhere to the pier. You know, uh, it was a hell of laughs, you know, down there in Vegas, you know, it was anywhere you could think of, man, we had fun. And, you know, he was real down to earth, and a lot of people shared the same experience, and the most important thing that he wanted us all to know and learn is just, you know, to believe in yourself, and push hard, and make a way for whatever you can. Nigga get his shirt off his back, you feel me? Y'all you know, kills a family man, like, like dude. Rap all that gangster shit, but he really was a family man, if you know dude. So, 
Niggas just hurt behind me. Like, for real, for real. Niggas just really hurt behind me. Y'all killed the wrong dude. Whoever it is, you know, you sick somewhere, bro. Try to listen to his music, you feel me? I mean, I go back as far as, man, niggas didn't have no laugh. Niggas doing no albums. We got together in probably 90 something. We start working. They put out the animal plan. My first introduction to the fucking group Jack. We click. Like, damn, like, you know I mean, J.A., I'm J.O., you feel me? That's what he named me. It's my brother, you feel me? That nigga tatted up, you feel me? That's really, like, you know what I mean? My heart, nigga. So, we've been rocking since day one. Being recognized as a lyricist that he was, that's like one of the biggest things that I, I, that I, that I know he'll be proud of. Being recognized for being such a good lyricist, an evil lyricist. Cause that's what we was pushing, so you know. I'm trying to get the uh, blessing out of this lesson. That's all. Rest in peace with my brother, man. But he is gonna be missed, bro, and, and no matter what I do, man, I'm always ready for my bro, you know? No matter what, bro, I'm always, I'm always keep it lit going, bro. I ain't really been passionate about this music shit lately, but just cause of what's going on. I'm gonna get back into it, bro, and I'm gonna give it my whole heart, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm gonna give it all, I'm gonna give it my all, man, at least one more time for my nigga, man. Rest in peace to Jack, man. Represent for the Brody, bro, we gonna keep this shit lit. Rest in peace, Mac Drake. Rest in peace to motherfucking Mac, young Jack, man. You feel me, this shit don't stop once a motherfucking again, nigga. Slap his music, do everything there. Come on, man. You know You know what it is, man. It's the kid, filthy motherfucking rich, man. Flash nigga on two feet.
150 True Religion show, you man. We out here paying respects to my nigga Jack, you know, Fallen Soldier, man. One love, man, you know. Without you, man, it wouldn't be no me, man. It wouldn't be a lot of niggas, man. You know, Jack was like, I'm Mac Dre, man. You get what I'm saying? The younger niggas, man, you know. Much respect to the whole mob figures, man. It's a cold day. I had to come home, you feel me, to bury the nig, man. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? The King Jack, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? On 94th and Jack, you know what I'm saying? But I'm out here though. I live in the A now, you feel me? I came all the way home because these niggas put me on, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? And Jack, every time you see me, you feel me? He just embraced the nigga like, man, young gas, bro, you gotta go hard. You feel me? He the reason I moved to the A. Cause he told me, like, bro, it ain't nothing out here, you feel me? These niggas is on some dumb young shit. You feel me? Reckless, you feel me? You a, you a sharp little nigga, man. You gotta stay focused and keep rapping. So, for the rest of my life, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna go hard for bread. My thing is, you know, Jack is just a solid dude, not just, you know, in music, you know, just a solid person overall. That is a, you know, as like a big brother type figure, you know what I mean? And, you know, even when Hus was gone, you know what I mean? We was, that's when we came real close, you know what I mean? Right when P Black passed away, that's kind of like when me and Jack was just, you know, real kicking it real tight uh, throughout the Free Hus campaign, you know what I'm saying? I said, just a big brother type figure, man, and, man, you know, I love you, buddy. It's just real hard, man. Still off the word, bro, this shit crazy, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna keep your name lit, bro, your legacy lit, bro. Believe that, cousin. You feel me? Rest in peace, Johnny Cash. You feel me, Pete Black. The J.A. Mac Dre, my nigga. We love you, bro. My, bro. Just wanna say, right here is unreal man this right here I would never ever seen it ever try to come this way man like me and Jack man we had our own personal relationship man you know like he called me every day man and if it wasn't every day it was every other day and he hit, he hit me like he's where you at what I gotta do uh, man you know I'm at the house, I'm at the lab. Yeah, for sure, I'm pulling up. You know? Yeah. This, 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 this is a real sad thing, man. That my man got took out, man. You know what I'm saying? That was good, man. It's Lee Majors, man. Um, we out here at the Jacket Memorial. You know what I mean? It's, it's hard to even say that, you know, because he's such a good guy, man. He's such a good brother, man. More than just a friend, man, you know, he lost my brother, you know what I mean? My Muslim brother, you know, Salaam Alaikum, and Rock and Joe, you know, I got this from him. This from Jack right here, you know, I'm here around my neck right here, you know what I mean? So, I mean, it, it hurts me dearly, you know what I mean? Just to, just to hear that, you know, my dude is gone and I ain't gonna never get to see him again. The last time I saw him was on New Year's, you know what I mean? And, and man, it's just, man, I ain't been able to get no sleep last three days, man. Stressed out, man. You know, it's just man. You know, hope his family. You know, hope his family. You know, all my blessings to them, man. I hope they, you know, I hope, I hope, I hope everything is okay. I hope everybody, you know, turns out okay. And I just hope that nothing, nothing like this ever happens again to anybody. In the back, we lost a legend. That was like our Tupac. You know what I mean? Jack was like our Pac. You know, he he had bars. He spoke the truth. You know, he was a real MC. You know, he was able to go bar for bar with the best of them, you know what I mean? He wasn't just a rapper. Like most of these cats would want to just come out and be a rapper. He was a real MC. You know what I mean? He did this, you know, because he loved it, you know what I mean? And, and he got fans that love him and that's gonna miss him all around the world, you know what I mean? Jack has been to Africa, to the UK. You know, I didn't travel with you know to Kansas City with him, Ohio. We'd have been everywhere, you know, Seattle, you know what I mean? Just everywhere, man. It's just it's, it's, it's fucked up that he had to, to die, you know what I mean? And, in the Bay Area, especially in Oakland, you know what I mean, considering how much love that, you know, we got from him, you know, that we got from him. He, he from the peak, you know what I mean, he was raised in Richmond, you know what I mean, I'm from Oakland, so it's fucked up that my brother had to get killed out here, man, you know what I mean, senseless violence, man, you know, it's just, it's just senseless, you know what I mean, it's just, it's like, it's like even, it's like even harder than losing Mac Dre, when we lost Dre, it was crazy, you now it's like, Jack? I can't even believe it. He was such a good dude. Every time you see him, he's smiling. He always happy. He get his shirt off his back. You know what I mean? He type of dude like, take me to the Nike outlet. I'll buy you a pair of shoes. He was that kind of dude. You know what I mean? He was, you know, he'd, give, he, he'd give you his last bit of weed. You know what I mean? He wasn't. He, he was. He was a, uh, a 
real, a real dude, man. He was really gracious, and you know what I mean. You know what I mean. I hope he up here, you know, looking down. Let's know that he got a lot of friends and family that love him and that's gonna miss him, man. You know, and his, his music gonna live on forever, you know. Many niggas died from the D that I'm running through But what the profit do? So I lay some lime Got the world in my palm Something about the streets Got my heart in my mind Up with the beast Fuck school, I'm on the grind Got slap in the bins My nigga, let's ride around Fresh out the lab with the new shit Nigga, check out the sound We really didn't talk about Music, you know what I mean? With Jack, when you talk, it was always about something else. It was always serious, it was always about life, it was always about religion, it was always about family, it was always about what we, you know, it was always something. It was never, you know, the music was just, that was just what we did. It always depended on Jack. Jack was always a crutch to anybody. As long as you was a solid person or a real person or a person that just had some hunger for some type of Jack was the type of nigga who he all man he was always giving. He was just a real giving person. You feel me? Like he anytime I was somewhere or anywhere or I ain't about to say shit. You feel me? That nigga was just he like here dub here this. You feel me? It wasn't supposed to be you, bro. It wasn't supposed to be you. It hurt. It hurt my heart. I just thank you. For everything you've done for me. I miss you, my kids miss you, my wife miss you, the whole mob miss you. We're just gonna keep this shit lit for my nigga, man. You know, I, I would have been cut and, and went home and all this shit after shows. It's three in the morning and we at the studio. I ain't never been at no studio this late just to kick it and, and fuck with us, man. But this what you want, this what you did. So I'm, I'm gonna keep this shit lit for you, my nigga. My king. That's what you is. You was a king, and you taught us to be kings. So I'm going to keep your movement alive to better us. Because if you don't know what Jack was about, he was about bettering us as a people. Not just black people, but everybody as a whole, everybody from the ghetto, everybody from the hood. He wanted better for us. You know it's supposed to be nasty, you me Mac-10, can I be a bitch now, you can be my boat. I'll put oh, you yeah, on the track and bring you back on my cheek, get on your knees, so I can smoke me, take the chance for me, and mount up in my show, take the chance for me, that bitch will be the bitch like a B.I.T., pull out, don't let go, do what you got, don't come back, show, cause you might get my, I'm a pimp, and hoes ain't shit, I used to fuck them and forget about them, now they bring me back, make this girl from my stack, till I feel
Jacker, man. That's my mob member, man. You know what I'm talking about? Real talk, man. I love you, boy. Man, you down, baby. In a real fashion, like a brand new pair of shoes, man. And I'm paraphernalia to the mob, man. For real, man. You know, four fingers and a thumb. Five humble. You know what I'm talking about? On the real, man. Been pushing this shit, man. It'll never stop, man. You know what I'm talking about? Till I drop. Hello? What's up with it, man? It's Mac Maul. You feel me? We out here on 94th from Jack. You know what I mean? I came out here to show my respect to the Cuddy. You feel me? Before they take this thing down, you know, hopefully they won't take it down. But, you know what I mean? I'm going to come out here and show my respect. You feel me? Man, I'm just out here. I'm, I'm one of many, you know what I mean, who love Jack. You know what I mean? Who knew him personally, some who didn't know him personally. You feel me? But we all out here under the same accord, you know what I mean, representing for the Cuddy. Straight up and down. His voice gonna live on through his music, you know what I mean? Through his family, and through his friends, you feel me? I'm telling you, you know what I mean? We've been here before, you know what I mean? All of us, we all been here before, man, you know what I mean? With my Cuddy, Mac Dre, you know what I mean? Just like with him. And, and I know what it do to real soldiers, you feel me? We gonna mourn for a little bit, you know what I mean? After we done mourning, we gonna get together and we gonna go hard, straight up and down. And that's what we gonna do, you know what I mean? As a community, you know what I mean? We gonna go hard for the Cuddy, man. Keep that man name lit. You feel me? Keep his positive thought and how he, you know, connected with everybody. You know what I mean? We're going to keep that alive, man. You feel me? And if you love him, I, I suggest that you do the same. Straight up. Mac, this. Yo, what's up? It's your dude, K-Love. Gorilla Pits. This nation. Um, I guess I'm here to speak on my brother Jack. You feel me? Uh, this will really touch the situation since it was so close to home, but uh, I mean, he was the greatest alive, you know what I mean? Best man ever. So, you know, Jack made you feel like he was your best friend, bro, and that's how he made you feel. I mean, if he loved you, he'd give you the shirt and the shoes off his feet. No problem. I mean, like, that was our brother. He was here every day with us for the last three years. This is one of the last places he was. He left here February 2nd. I mean, he was the last one on his computer, the last drawing he did, the last songs he did, you know what I mean? But besides all that, you feel me, you know, the bank took me, lost the legend, you feel me? The kids lost the father, you know what I mean? I know my mom lost the son, you feel me? All I really want to say is I love you, bro, and I love the times you shared in the moments, and you know what I mean? The flame you came and gave us in years sparked us and motivated us to want to work, you feel me? Like prior to you coming, there wasn't even no, there wasn't even no k solo coming out. You came and made me do that shit, you know what I mean? So, you know what I mean? You came in here and had us working, doing four or five songs a night, not wasting no time, you know what I mean? So, I really don't want to speak too much on it, you know what I mean? We all know what it is. I love you, the bull. You know, I'm your brother till I see you again. You feel me? I'ma keep this shit lit. And I ain't gonna stop. You feel me? And I thank you for everything you gave us, my nigga. I love you. From day one, the bull was cool. Day one, like I met a lot of people over the years, and like a lot of people like Hollywood. That was never his case. If he fucked with you, he really fucked with you. Like, I done gone many shows for him. He always showed me love, shouted me out, even on stage and all that. Uh, places that places couldn't even that wouldn't even like allow me to get in or whatever. He told he he told them on many occasions, I'm not performing if all my niggas can't come in. And that's the kind of person that we lost. Like, he uh, stayed inspiring us, he sparked a flame, he had very high hopes for us, and I'm never going to forget that, like I said, that was more than music to me, this was a friend that I lost, and shit, I love you, bull. Rest in peace to the realest, 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 to the
I'm gonna miss you, bro. Bay Area legend, hold me down, man. You feel me? The nigga was a real nigga. I ain't never met him, but his music, you know what I'm saying? It, it touched me in a different place. It took niggas to a different level, you know what I'm saying? So, RIP to the nigga Jack, man. You know what I'm saying? Rest in peace, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm <laughs> gone, but never forgotten, bro. RIP to Jack, man. You know what I'm saying, man? You rest in peace, bro. You know, we love you, bro. It's RIP Jack. He's my brother. He's a humble dude and always try to give people words of advice and wisdom. Rather if somebody took it or not, he always try to show the best side of himself. He always never took sides. He always was a real nigga. He's solid. Anybody that ain't gonna say different is wrong. Off top. Everybody that knows him will feel where I'm coming from. I'm a San Francisco Backstreet Mission District nigga. And he fucked with us. Everybody from the hood knows that. He fucked with a lot of different hoods from all over the Bay Area. And he kept it solid. Oh, man, we out here holding down for the jack, baby. Much love and respect, man. Coming straight up out the East Bay, though. You already know, man. You know what I'm talking about? We mobbing, nigga. R.P. the jack, man. Innis nigga out, period, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Innis nigga, period. Hey, R.P. to the jack, man. R.P. jack, man. Nah, 400. R.P. the jack, nigga, no, my mom. Rest in peace to the Jack. You already know what time it is. All the way from Seattle, fucking with it. You feel me? And it's all for the Jack, man. Straight love, mob shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Period. Yeah, R.P. Big Brother, though. You feel me? Big ass inspiration in my life. Long as I had nothing out here, you feel me? R.P. But you know, forever do that, man. Tell me long as that, man. What happened to the world, man? I'm saying Usos, Mexicans, Blacks, Chinese, Cambodians, whatever, nigga. Rest in peace, good luck to his family. Real nigga gone though. We're gonna hold him up though. Real motherfucking call. 10 6, rolling hunters, Richie Rich. And you do know that. You know what it is, man. It's your boy Diego of the Soda Rock I fam, man. Oakland Breakers, man. We doing this shit for my nigga the Jack, man. You feel me? Real fam, nigga. Real nigga that, that made sure that everybody was good when he was around, man. You feel me? We doing it for you, my nigga. You feel me? Salute. Was not no ordinary dude, man. He loved everybody. Man, youngsters was stealing out of store one day. He called up, man. He like, man, look, y'all ain't got to do that. He came out of his pocket, gave him money. Look, y'all ain't got to do that, man. I'm telling you, that's the type of cat he was, man. So don't get it twisted, man. Just because y'all listen to his music, think he was some kind of way. No, man. That dude, man, he's a good dude. That dude, he got, he's still a good dude, man. He got that heart, man. I love you, Jack. Ain't no one ever said nothing negative, nothing bad about this dude. He was like the most loved, most humble, most realest dude out here. And for this, this to happen is just, this is just a super right. big loss for the Bay. Right. But, you know, we're going to keep it lit and keep it mobbing for Jack. Rest in peace. Salute to a real, a real act, you know what I mean? Salam Aleikum, rock it to Allah, you know what I mean? I love you, my brother. Hi, you Hype, nigga, man. Five life, uh, nigga. Five finger mafia, nigga. RP Jack, nigga. Free KI, uh, nigga. Real West Stockman, nigga, man. RP Jack, nigga. Peace to the Jack, nigga. Mile in peace, my nigga. Legends don't die, nigga. The streets is real, man. Motherfucking brother, Dom, man. They took somebody real, though, man. You know, straight up. You know, if I was there, I damn near would have jumped in the way for my nigga, man. This ain't no yeah, just a man. regular nigga that so, got killed, man. This yeah, nigga put man. on in, damn near the entire Bay Area. Period. If you wanted to rap and you can't do a show and you got to talk to him, the nigga's gonna listen to your music. If you dope, he gonna fuck with you. Period. period. And if he wasn't, period. Uh, if you wasn't you know dope, I mean? he was, get this shit out of here, boy. Uh, for real. <laughs> I was in Hayward, you feel me? And he was, uh, we was talking about the b-boy and this shit, and he was telling me how him and us and everybody was into the b-boy and Dre, all of them. You feel me? Because I b-boy and shit. You feel me? And uh. It's like, nigga, you don't believe me? That nigga got up and started up rocking on me and shit. Who we getting dumbass high? I'm rolling. I'm like, my nigga, my nigga really not the mood, though. You feel me, big ass nigga? He just like, you know, I'm big now, but you feel me? I still got it. I'm like, okay, okay. I feel you. I respect it. I respect it. <laughs> you feel me? And, you know, that's just one of the funny ass times. You feel me? He, he still had hella energy. You feel me? Alive, man. You feel me? One of the realest niggas out here, man. Period, bruh. That loved everybody, man. That loved everybody. Fast shout out to my big brother, bro. I love you, bro. Man. I love you, bro. Like, right, nah, we rock, bro. Fuck yeah. with everybody here, bro. With everybody saying, nigga, you my nigga, bro. Nah, I'll rock, bro. I love you, nigga, on anything, man. Fuck everybody, man. Period. Period. Fuck everybody. <laughs> For the 
Jack, boy. What's up? It's enemy coming from the 707 North Bay. RP to the Jacker, RP to Woody, Speedy Low. Low to the Gay Chino. What's up? It's Roger Jack Clyde from the Mob Figures. Rest in peace, Jack. I'm real fucked up by this loss. It was a real big loss. Really don't like doing interviews, but I came out for my peoples. It's real big right now, you know. Overwhelmed by all the love we're getting. And all the love they're giving to my brother. We the love that. We out here for the kid, man. Mob in peace, man. It's the kid coming straight out of Long Beach, you feel me? Team keep the lid in the building, man. We out here for the Jack. Rest in peace, man. I want to just say rest in peace to my man Jack, man. You feel me? He was a real cool guy, man. Jack was the man, you feel me? He used to be in the hood with us all the time, man. You know, I've been knowing him for a minute, so, you feel me? He was good enough to put me in one of his videos, man, you feel me? And take me, like, to the studio, man. We was in the studio last week, matter of fact, with Paul Wall, man. And we was just chilling up, you feel me? Jack was just that kind of a real person, man. You know, he'd take people, he just wanted to see everybody just blow up, man. White, black. Mexicans, everybody, Asian, everybody loves Jack Squad. That's all that's out here right now, man. Matter of fact, last Friday, I seen Jack and Licks, man. We were supposed to, you know, we were supposed to meet up in Vegas. It was my birthday. I, I, I made it, but they never made it, man, because he was trying to get his, get his store off the ground, man. You know what I mean? That store was big to Jack, man. He wanted to do that store, give everybody jobs, man. I wish he would have made it to Vegas, man. He probably wouldn't have been out here that night. I'm a Tracatriz, the group of Los Cracas. You know, uh, flew in from Puerto Rico, man. And, uh, the Jacko, man. Man, the Jacko was, was a real dude, man. He was real cool, man. You know, I remember uh, listening to his music when I was in high school. You know I mean? And getting to work with him and, and really just really buy with him and really just do shows with him and shoot videos with him, you know what I'm saying? Like, you get to know the person, man, and he was real solid, man, like, all the way, like, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, it's, 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 it's we sad, we still sad, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, that's, that's all I can say, man. you know what I'm saying? Jack was a really good man, that's the reason. It's Rocket Iggy, a.k.a. Ignacio de la Fuente. Rest in peace, Jack, man, we never forget you. Yo, what's good, man? Nelly doing, doing from the Raka movement. At the Cancer Pass, Jack, I, I mean, he's the fuck talk with the Latino community, man. Every time you see us, you show love since, since on five, man. When I started making music, man, he embraced us. Me and my, my cousin, Rocker Rich, man, he embraced us like one of his, you know what I mean? Uh, all we talk about was going to Panama. He was always. Fun, fun times when I was with Jack, man. You know what I mean, when we did that video shoot with Crypto over there in LA for Gangsta, we got a lot of memories with my brother, man. Yes, RP, we are here showing love, man. Like a Iggy, uh, we are showing love, man. You know, shout out to all the mob, shout out to all his supporters, man. One love. One love, man. A plata vuelo, no lo niego. Siente el aroma de dinero. Millonario, me tienen celos, pero porque el cielo no canta nada. No, como un gangsta, no porque queda, sino por falta de plata. Si no soy yo, entonces que no ayuda a mi mamá, o a mi hermana, o a mi brother, o a mi pana. Siempre hago lo que tengo que hacer en la tarima o en la calle. Me destaco y siempre paro merve. Y esto va. Siempre odiando mami He vivido como un gangsta Gangsta All of my life No la plata Plata Every night So why they hate it? So why? They hate it So why? They hate it So why? They hate it Why they hate it So why? They hate it So why? They hate it So why? They hate it Why they hate it Rest in peace Rest in peace Jack Concept by Jack Jack, Jack, you know what I mean? Man, we out here showing you love, you feel me, from your brothers that's always been here supporting since day one. You always showed us love, and we here to show you love and may this shit continue. Definitely. It's non-stop, it's forever mobbing, we're gonna keep it mobbing. You feel me, from with you to my rockers, the rocker mob, we, yeah. you know what I'm saying, it was serious, you know, you've been a part of all our life. You already know what it is, man, young dank out, man, rest in peace to the motherfucking bull, J.A., man, we gonna mob, we gonna keep this shit mobbing forever, you already know what it is, man, period. Back in the day, bro, when I was doing my thing, man, when I felt like I was nobody, man, the Jack and he made just came through to one of my video shoots, but I was doing with Chico, bringing squeeze. 
Show nothing but love, bruh. He made a nigga feel like it was nothing. Like it's somebody, bruh. You know, cause it's, back in those days, bruh, he just dropped the, he just dropped his new album, bruh. He was, he was so big, bruh. Never in my right mind, bruh, what I thought the Jack would have came through with shoot that I was shooting, bruh. When he came through, I was blessed enough, bruh, to meet him and interview him, bruh. You know what I'm saying? I got nothing but love for the Jack, bruh. Mob and peace. You know what I mean? He affected my life, bruh. And I, a lot of people out in this world, man. So my big peace, man. Straight you know, up. Yeah, Kike Yanez, man. You already know what it is, Mr. Kiyawai, man. I'm just trying to show my tribute, man, to the nigga Jack, man. You feel me? He got us through a whole lot of tough moments, you feel me? Shit getting real, man. I just feel you know me mean? just to see a fallen soldier, you feel me, drop like that, you feel me? These days, niggas killing this shit for no reason and shit, you feel me? All I gotta say is rip the Jack, man. A real humble motherfucker, you feel me? I guess it was just a nigga time, you feel me? Like I said, nigga, I know he up there walking, looking down on all of us, you feel me? Like, nigga, I know that nigga music got me through, you feel me? I don't know about nobody else, but I know he got me through, nigga. A whole lot of shit, you feel me? Since day one, you feel me? Real shit, you feel me? That nigga YA, you feel me? Look at me, you feel me? Rip that nigga Jack, you feel me? You already know what it is, you feel me? M-I-P-S-I-P, -I -I nigga, sip in peace, man. You already know what it is, man. Rip the Jack, man. Go. My brother Gimmick, CK Jugs, did this for him. I don't even know if this shit legal or not, but this shit finna stay running. Fuck, nigga. This shit finna be here. They, right they right paint right over this, get it right Mama, back done again. Right, straight up, bro. We all out here showing love and shit. He a big influence. Like the biggest okay, loss man. damn near since Dre. We out here, though. I've been slapping your shit since back in the days since I was a youngin'. You know, we gonna keep it lit for you, though. Keep, keep your name alive, man. Fucking with it, man. Live, you know what I'm saying? From East Palo Alto to the Biggity. Young June right here, man, representing Northside Hayward, hey, man. You feel me? We was out here fucking with the Jack, man. You know what I'm saying? I got to know, I got to know Jack like the last six months, man. Fucked with the kid like, you know, over ten times, man. He knew me, man. You know what I'm saying? I just want to say much love, man. Rest in peace to Jack, man. Man, I love you, man. We gonna keep your shit mobbing, man. You know what I'm saying? It's good, man. Thank you, man, for all the good music you made, man. Everything, man. You know what I'm saying? One love, man. We gonna miss you. Straight up, my. It's your boy Remy, one half of the dragons. Mac Drake, this nation. Just here to pay my respect to my brother Jack. You know, there's not a lot we can say that haven't been said. Um, to me, he's the greatest of all time because he always gave, whether it's his fans, his friends, his, you know, peers in the industry, he always gave. And, you know, I hope that that impact creates a change in the game because it will never be the same. You know what I'm saying? I said that before. It'll never be the same without Jack. And, you know, everybody driving past on a block playing Jack all day, you know, the love is real, man. If you see what it is, you realize. If you haven't heard of this dude, you've been missing out on some real hip hop in the Bay. And uh, all we want to say is we love him, we miss him, we'll always miss him. If there's real fans out there, you know, it, it's on you to keep him alive. He already did all he can. We can't do nothing to keep him alive more than he did. He gave y'all the greatest music. To me, I'm a fan too, so keep jamming that music, you feel me? That's how we keep him alive, you know what I'm saying? Play his music, better than not. Bless the beast our brother, man, a lot. He always kept it lit for us, and you know, we just out here showing our love and respect, and you know, he really gonna be missed. He's one of the most genuine, realest artists out here in the Bay, and we just wanna say rest in peace to Jack, you know, we gonna keep it lit out here for you. 24 7 365 for life, Jack. I just wanna say thank you, Jack. You got me through a lot of shit. You were the soundtrack to my life. Grew up. So I was a little kid in Pittsburgh, listening to you, my figures all day. First time I heard Jack Solo shit was when I was in Quinn. You know what I'm saying? Got me through some hard times. The DVI knocking that shit. You know, it helped you out a lot. Good rapper. Soundtrack to everybody's life. Inspiration to all. I just want to say, nigga, I had the pleasure of working with one of the Bay Area legends. You feel me? And learning, learning to rap better. With a Bay Area legend, you feel me? That nigga sat down with me at my house, nigga, you feel me? Every song he ever did for me, nigga, he recorded himself and we recorded it together, you feel me? It wasn't no engineer there or none of that shit. You feel me? Living with the song set, recorded itself. Nigga, gang stars, we did that in the big lab. We gotta give that up to the grill, you feel me? We did that in the big lab, but you know, it's one of them four in the morning lab sessions. You know, I never forget. That's my family, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's my family, bro. Jack is my family, bro. Real talk, bro. You know what I'm saying? We talked about knowledge. We share wisdom. You know what I'm saying? We wasn't talking about men. You know what I'm saying? 
man, that's real mild, bro. If you ever to share it and, and enlighten somebody, on, on, you know what I'm saying, and, and really put some money in, 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 your, in, your, in your nigga's pocket. That's how you really, you know what I'm saying? That's how you really mob, bro. You don't mob just to say you mobbing and you wearing a hoodie and you strapped up. No, bro. You know what I'm saying? You enlighten, you shit, you know what I'm saying? You rub elbows with the solids. You know what I mean? Survival out here, bro. It's, it's hard, bro. Man, like I said, nigga, if you gonna spend four hundred dollars on some shoes, nigga, if you go buy some syrup and all that shit, nigga, go buy every album that my nigga made, man. Straight up, real talk, man. That's mob shit, nigga. We out here on my daddy, mama. Nigga, it's hard to even speak on it, and it's still unbelievable to this day that the nigga's gone. You feel me? I, I be looking at the nigga number on my phone, wishing I can call the nigga, like, wishing he had an actual voicemail of his voice on the phone, like, you feel me? So I could just hear this shit, you feel me? Just hear the nigga voice, bro. I damn near try to pick up the phone every day to call this nigga, man. He can't even pick up no more. You know, with the music in itself, it was so much deeper than that. And he knew, he would always say, like, man, I know these words and this music is going to stick around forever, way after I'm gone. So it's important. I gotta, you know, it's important what I say, because I know it's going to be here forever. You know, he, was, he, he knows. He was wise, man. He was everybody's big brother. He, you know, he, he was wise. He was strong. And, uh, you know, he was amazing. He was really creative. All the music that you hear, a lot of this stuff, a lot of those beats, a lot of like your favorite songs, a lot of that stuff, like those were his ideas too. A lot of the times, the beats, everything, you know. I mean, you can't say enough. I can't say enough doing these interviews and doing all this. I, I can't say enough, man. I've been all around the world with bro. You know, they loved him everywhere. They treated him the same everywhere. He treated them the same everywhere. They always wanted him to come back. They always appreciate it. And he was always the same, you know? You know? You know, you're not, you're not, you're not eligible for the throne unless you humble enough to sweep the floor. You know what I'm saying? Because the king is, is elected among his peers. You know what I'm saying? And everybody was Jack Peer. You know what I mean? From the, down here to up here. You know what I'm saying? And I don't gotta talk about that for y'all to know that. You know what I'm saying? For me going to the, to the to prison for five years on down. We don't talk about that. I don't sit here and talk about, okay, I did something. But we got our album out. We got the Jack Artist out. You know what I mean? Ain't Who gives a fuck about that? It ain't about, you know what I'm saying? That's what you're supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? You do time for your brother. You put your life on line for your brother. You live with your brother. You, you, you want for your brother what you want for yourself. And we really live by that. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, we're not saying we the illest niggas in the world, but you know what I'm saying? We definitely uh, stick to the script. And numerous of people can testimony to that. You know what I'm saying? That ain't hating. You know what I'm saying? So, we out here. You know what I'm saying? And we gonna keep this shit lifted, bro. This shit don't stop, man. The mob don't stop, period. Came in the game about, you know, 99, 98, 99. And uh, that's around the time I met Jack. The first time I met Jack, we was at the State Fair. Uh, it was at the State Fair. It was me, him, Frico, Ryder, uh, Fetty. Uh, it was crazy. My cousin JDK and the Deuces. And, uh, and instantly, bro, we just clicked, bro. We, it was a, a, uh, I was a young dude, man, so I was already a fan of Jack. Uh, and over the years, man, it was just, it was always just, we built a camaraderie, bro, that was unbreakable, man. We went out, we went around the world together from, you know, different continents, different countries and was able to really just go state to state and really push a real a real movement, man. He taught me a lot, showed me a lot about this independent game. I learned a lot from him. But I would always tell him, like, bro, you my favorite, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? No matter what, I, I, I would get on major radio stations. I would get on MTV, and they would ask me who was my favorite rapper, and I would always tell him that Jack was my favorite rapper. Always, and that's one thing he loved about me, because it was never about me having no pride and no ego. And this at a time where I'm talking about, I got eight, nine songs on the radio, popping. I'm the hottest thing in the Bay Area, um, in Northern California, man. I signed a deal with Atlantic Records, and you know, um, they would always ask me. I would always be like, man, Jack, Jack, y'all gotta worry about Jack, Jack. And uh, every event that I ever did, Jack was always there for me, man, right on my side, always. Right there on my side. We always would perform the records we had. <laughs> We always would perform the Hey Little Mama. We perform the Calling My Name. We call him to give me my give me a sight. And 
just over the years, bro, it was bigger than rap with us, you know what I'm saying? So when I got the word and the call that, you know, what had happened to him, that's like the call that I got, like, when I found out my mama died, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was, that's how it really touched me. It really hit me like that. I, I done lost hella homies over the years, man. I done lost a lot of friends. But this, like, affect me, like, like the real same feeling, like, like losing a brother, like losing, you know what I'm saying? Like a real brother, like, it hurt so bad. Like, I couldn't even go to that memorial. I couldn't go to that stuff, because I just felt like, to me, it was so real. Like, I couldn't feel, I couldn't, I can't, I still can't fathom the fact that my bro is gone, like, you know what I'm saying, to call my bro or be like, bro, let's go hit the studio or uh, we finna go talk to some kids in Sweden or we in London. Like, this is stuff that me and him would do. Fam, I'm finna go to England next week. What you doing? Like, it would be like that, spontaneous. And uh, what I'm gonna miss most about him, man, is just always, you know, just always there. We always laughing. It's always some some jokes. We playing dominoes. We doing something like that. It was bigger than music with us, man. You know what I'm saying? It was always, it's always bigger than music, man. Um, I was just with him at my birthday party, and he was right behind me, like he always be supporting me. Mm. Push him, get him, Fab. We was at the battle. He's like, get him, Fab, get him. <laughs> like so, it's just like, man. Anybody that know Jack, man, really knew. Uh, the funny side, man, the love side, the brother side, and uh, like I say, I'm riding with the Jack because he stay on his ding, giving me game on how to survive in the game, you know? That calling me song really showed my love for him, and it, it showed a lot of love, man. I was the only person on that album with like two verses on the song. People was like, Fab, how you got two verses on the Jack album? It was just, that was the love we had for each other, man, and uh, even with the calling my name song, like, that was my song, and he was like, bro, I'm putting out this album. I'm like, bro, say no more. You can have it. That's just how we was, bro. That was, you know, that's how we was, bro. Hey, man, we gonna miss him forever. Forever, you know, King Jack, man. And I saw you Fly tire, try and stay warm cause the storm just arrived here Ain't just sleep waited, cause it's been a dry year and I still made it Cause I paid attention when my niggas told me save up Shit could get ugly, so I put my cake up In a cold place, no safes, no bankers You can have friends, still everybody take us Got a high cheese, why couldn't we be famous? Why are we here? I guess I gotta sell my soul To become a millionaire, but I'd rather sell my gold And how Talk there a lot of whack bar Born in the struggle, shit, I never get that hard AR, future where we headed The universe is endless, but it's Cain on our planet And I'm really in it, wish I could just vanish Living for the moment, it's too late for us to plan shit In the jewels, but I can't shine Cause I'm in the crime Can't attract attention when you choose to be who I am I was in detention thinking I don't need to be here I don't need this shit, I learned all I can learn So I hit the strip, only never to return To my mother's crib, or the way I used to live Ain't just for the paper, not using my head Staring at my reflection, with snow-covered hands Here go another chance, hard to reach you Cause it's deep, so I make it easy Can't feed a baby steak, I need to get up out of state Looking at my face, erasing lines in a place What a fucking waste, the world let me down When I was trying to fly straight 